Last April, the Sacred Land Film Project crew traveled up Papua New Guinea's Ramu River to Bozeman Village, one of the most welcoming places we've ever visited. Motivated by our visit, the village revived a ceremony they hadn't practiced for 40 years. We were invited to participate in the creation of a ceremonial canoe by village elder Melchior Ware. Being river people, we depended very much on the canoes as a means of transport and as a means of survival. Each clan in the tribe is responsible for painting a section of the canoe with designs and motifs that only they can use. Many of the paints are natural, made from seeds, clay, bark, or flower blossoms. Making and launching of a ceremonial canoe is a very big communal factor. So therefore, the canoes have two categories, the working canoe and the ceremonial canoe, which is used for sustaining life and also as a vessel for us to safeguard our lands by using it as a war canoe. From our philosophy, we are supposed to look after the river. The river and the environment and the biodiversity provides for us and sustains our life. We, in return, regard the land, the environment, and the river as sacred. No ceremony is complete without a feast. The women have been cooking for days and prepare staples of the region, sweet potatoes and yams, fish and nongu, a porridge made from the starch of the sago palm. Food is the center of life. You are actually what you eat. If you're eating the wrong thing, you die. If you're eating the right thing, it must be sustained. Fruit throwing is actually a test of the warrior's balance and canoe handling skills. In the old days, the villagers threw spears, not coconuts. We felt really privileged to be part of such a joyous, chaotic celebration. <laughs> 